Okay, so in this video, we're going to build on the simple search query we just did for meat eating dinosaurs, which was just using one search criteria. And this time, we're going to look at using multiple search criteria in a query. So if I go into the design view of our query here, you can see what we've done. We've just looked for, for dinosaurs who ate meat, and that was our only search criteria. If I wanted to, I could create a more complicated query than that. I mean, let's have a look at our, our table for a minute. And I could go for, for instance, maybe I wanted to see dinosaurs who ate meat, but were also uh, had visitors of more than, um, let's see, more than 15,000 visitors a year. So that's a more complicated query. So if I go back into here, into the design view, what I'm going to do is add a, cri a criteria to my existing query. So this time I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to add visitors per month. And that's going to go in there. And because I'm looking for it to be meat eating and I'm looking for it to be greater than 15,000, which is on here, they go on the same line. So notice both of those criteria have to be true. However, if I wanted to do a slightly different query, for instance, meet all visitors more than 15,000, I would put it on a different line. And there's a little clue there because it actually says or, as you can see where I'm pointing with the mouse now. You can put it on a different line if you want one or other to be true. If you want them both to be true, you have to click here. So if I put more than 15,000 in, uh, I'm going to re-save this, okay, and then I'm going to run it, and hopefully, there you go. And you can see that's a very useful query because it, it's much more specific. It's allowed me to, to narrow down the, in, the information I was looking for to just two specific dinosaurs. So let's just look at the design view again, and you can see that what we've got there is a query showing you how to use multiple criteria on one 